we have our default cube right here. I'm going to press space, add mesh plane. I'm going to press S and scale it up just like that. Now we've got that. Now we're going to select our cube, press 3, and now move the cube right above the green line right there. So now we've made our cube just above the plane. So now go into edit mode, press A and then B twice and select these top vertices. Press 3 and now move up these vertices just about twice as much as the original cube was. So now we've done that. Press N, bring up the transform properties box. Now we're going to name it player and then we're going to delete our default camera. We don't need that. Now select that, the cube, go under the object tab and where it says draw extra press axis. We're going to uh, need this later on. Now we going to press F9 to go back into the edit tab. Click on UV texture and click on new. And now we're going to go into textured mode, then edit mode and then click on face select mode. We're going to click on each face, go into this texture face tab and click on invisible for each face. Now once you've done that, just press tab to get out of edit mode, and you should see basically just an uh, invisible outline of a cube. So now go press Z twice to go into wireframe mode, press 1, we're going to press space, add camera, I'm going to press 3, and now rotate it 90 degrees. just like that. And if you hold shift, it will rotate a lot slower so that you can get the exact 90 degree measurement. This can uh, really help the quality of your game. So let's move it up just about right there. We're going to go to the object button, press snap, cursor, selection, and now press 1. Press add empty, scaled up just a bit. Now we're going to call this shoulder. And select the camera we just made. Hold shift and select the shoulder with the shoulder I empty that we just made. Press control and then P and then press enter. So we have just parented the shoulder to the camera. Now select the shoulder, hold shift, select the cube, hold down control, and then P, and then press enter again. Okay, let's press 3. Now press shift, and then C, and then select your cube. Go under the edit tab, press F9 if you don't know how to get there, and then find the center cursor button and press it. This is just going to make the cube's center at the very bottom. So uh, now we can start animating our mouse look. So hold control, press left, the left arrow key, select your cube, and make sure you are in the top view mode, press 7. Now uh, press I, it's going to bring up this insert key, and then click on rot. Now right here, click on 2 type in 200 and now hold R and then rotate this 180 degrees to the left right there there we
we go. Now press I and then insert rod again. Now we're going to click on the rod X on this. We're going to press delete key. Then click on rod Y and press delete again. Now we're going to click on our shoulder. We're going to press 3. Now go click right here. Click on type in 1 and that will bring us to frame 1. We're going to type uh, we're gonna press the I key and then click insert rod. Now let's type in 200 again and let's rotate this up 90 degrees. There we go. Now press I insert rod. Now we're going to click on rod Z right here. Delete it. Click on rod Y delete it. Now we're going to press N in the IPO box to bring up this transform properties dialog and then where it says X max type in 180 and where it says X min type in negative 180. Now where it says Y min type in negative 9 and where it says Y max type in negative 9. Whoops, my bad. Type in 9. Just press control Z and then there we go so we've got our shoulder done now click on your cube now where it says X max type in 5,000 and where it says X min just scroll down to 5,000 like this or negative 5,000 now where it says Y min type in negative 150 where it says y max type in negative or type in 150 and it's going to make it look like that so we've got our animation done now we can start scripting it so hold down control press right and then press right three more times and this is the scripting panel. So we need to first set up all our um, objects with uh, all the properties needed. So we're going to click on our uh, box. We're going to add all these properties. We're going to name the first one in it, which is INIT. It's going to be an integer and it's just gonna leave it at zero. We're gonna make another one called mouse filter. We're gonna set it to 0 0.250 and it just leave it as a float. Now make another one called rot and just leave it as a float and as zero point zero zero zero. And then create another one called sensitivity and make that 0.250. And now we need to click, whoa, whoops. Now we need to click on our shoulder, add a property called pitch, and set it to one. And there we go. Now hold shift and select the camera, the shoulder, and the cube. Now press this uh, cell button right here on all of these and it'll make all of these visible. So in camera, press add, click on mouse. We're gonna name it capital M mouse. Make sure that mouse is capitalized. Now check this dot 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 on the left and we're gonna set this to movement. Now we're gonna click on player on the player controller just like that. We're gonna call this mouse look and now we need to create our mouse look script real quick so right here where it says text just type in mouse look and now come back over here and right next to script type in mouse look now we need to connect these two now in shoulder add a ipo call it shoulder ipo Set 